All right, all right, all right. Oh, what's up, Buzz? Back like I never left. Welcome to Wanna Bite, and today we have a gaming chair. Yeah, I know we're in a different scenery. You're like, Rod, why are you using a gaming chair outside? I don't have room in my room. We got speakers all over the place. It's getting so small, so we decided to do it out here. So we got a chair sent to us by um, Killer B. Now, I love showing budget gaming chairs. Um, you don't have to buy expensive chairs. So this chair right here is 140. Um, they come in three different colors. It comes in gray and black, blue and black, and then this red and black. The gray and black is 135, so you'll save like five bucks with that color. Um, but I love having budget options for all you guys. So you guys you know you don't have to buy expensive $500 gaming chair, which I had before this. And I feel like this one's a little bit more comfortable. So I'm gonna break down this gaming chair and my experience with it. So let's let's break it down. All right, but so as you can see with this gaming chair, you're gonna get nice little quality, even for that budget price. Uh, one thing I do like is you can feel like the cushion in the seat and it's a pretty wide seat. Um, I have some B-roll to show you guys. Um, that, that seat is pretty wide. It also comes with this pillow that is like a vibrating pillow so you can plug it up with a little connector in the back and plug it into your wall or a power bank if you want to and um, it'll vibrate and you know massage your back. And also you have a padding armrest on here which is really good to have that padding on your arm when you're playing and gaming and stuff working. But this is one thing I'll say was the little flaw is that I wish the padding was a little bit better on the armrest but I guess some padding is better than no padding, which, you know, I learned from experience with that one. Um, the headrest up here is comfortable. You don't have that little pillow that normally you got to sit on your a lot of gaming chairs, especially in the budget range. You have that little pillow, which is basically like this, but up here. Um, so this is way more comfortable. I would give it that. I like that a lot. That logo is pretty sick. I like that little killer bee looking one and then it also comes with a little leg rest so i'll show you guys that right now all right but so you do have you do get a little uh leg rest as well what you'll do you'll just pull it out right here and then uh flip it over and then you'll get a little leg rest now it's really short it's one of the shorter ones i think my wife's on her pink chair if you guys seen that video i had it's a little bit longer but still i really don't use that as well but let's test it out right now i'm very i'm hella long hella tall um, let's see what it does for a 6'5 person. All right, so let's check it out. Maxed out. Got my little skinny legs on there. It's, it's still comfortable. Uh, my feet are not touching. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. Since we're already in this position, I might as well lean back like Fat Joe and see what we get on the lean back. And we're maxed out. I'm gonna take a nap now while this plane goes by. Now, another cool feature that I like about this is that you can lock the recliner into, into place. So if you wanna lean back, um, if you want it to bounce back when you lean back, it can do that. Or you can just, you know, pull it, lean back, and it'll come back up with me. Or you can lock it into place by just pulling the thing down and it'll stay so you can lock it to exactly where you want it which i do like about this chair a lot that's pretty cool all right but so all in all i say this is a really good gaming chair especially if you're going to get one in this budget price of 135 to 140 don't spend 400 dollars on a gaming chair you can get you know some nice ones uh, even not this one there's other ones out there that are really nice in that 140 um, under $200 range for you and you can you know upgrade your setup if you've been sitting in that Walmart chair that black office chair Man, that thing used to hurt my butt man. I'm I can't go back to those But if you guys want an option, this is one of the ones you want to check out especially with the recliner the recliner um, And you know being able to leave it where you want to leave it is nice the logos nice the cushion is actually very comfortable like I said the padding you do have padding on the arms, but it just feels like it's really thin and your, your arms just hit the, you know, the hard surface of the armrest really quick. And I do like this little built in like pillow already because it's more comfortable and it, you know, it supports your head better than that little neck pillow that all these budget gaming chairs come with as well. And it's just like, uh, not even budget gaming chairs, all the gaming chairs, they'd be too big. Sometimes you can't even rest on it. Right. You got to lift it up. This thing works like a dream, but if you guys like this video and want to see some more gaming chair videos, at the end of this, I'll drop some of those so you guys can click that and check those out. And also, if you like the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And to all my subscribers now, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And i see all of you in my next video. My name is Rodney. This was Wanna Buy It. Peace.